See these potatoes right here? Well, this might be your new favorite recipe. These are our twice baked potatoes. Twice baked for four times the flavor. We're gonna show you how our family prepares these. We've got our bag of russet potatoes here, so let's get rolling. Let's get that oven preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna make five potatoes, so we're gonna scrub all five of those using a potato scrubber. And certainly, if you're gonna be making more, you're gonna to wanna to scale up all the ingredients accordingly. At this point, Julie likes to use a fork and poke holes into the potatoes, which I kind of find hard to watch. Looks like vicious. <laughs> You're like, making me laugh. You're gonna like stab yourself. How many years have I done this? I know, dear. You've been doing it for 25 years, but still, that just makes me nervous. Can I open my eyes now? Good. Here's where she pours in the olive oil right over the top of the potatoes, and then follows up with some salt. Yeah, I got holes for the heat to go through so it doesn't take as long to bake, and the oil to soak in a little, and now it's going right to the oven. It's already preheated. As you just heard, the oven is fully preheated, so we're gonna put that directly into the oven and bake that at 400 degrees for one hour. And there we go. After 55 minutes of baking, Julie did cut these partially in half and then finished up the baking for five more minutes, at which point we're done with the first round of baking we're gonna take those out and let those sit for about five minutes. And you can see here, you don't wanna to cut too deep into the potatoes. Here you wanna put a frying pan on your stove top and set the temperature for medium. And then we can start cutting into the bacon. Here we're cutting seven strips of bacon into small pieces. And then we're gonna fry those up on the stove top at the medium temperature. Alrighty, now we get all seven strips of bacon in there cut up. Now we're gonna cook that on medium until they are brown to your liking. So now we have the bacon going, we can go back to the potatoes and these are still gonna be quite hot and you're gonna gently want to scoop out all the contents of the potatoes from the skin without tearing that skin. You can see here that first potato isn't quite cut in half but it still works as long as you can scoop out the potato from the skin. Now even if you end up tearing the skin because you're distracted by talking to your kids, like Julie is here. You can still make this work and it still turns out just fine. This is the real world, right? Let's make sure to check on that bacon so it doesn't burn over there. All right, give that a stir, looking good. We'll get back to the potatoes here. There we go. That's definitely what you wanna see when you're scooping out the contents from the skin. You wanna keep that skin preserved as much as you can because we're gonna come back and re-stuff those. All right, we're wrapping up the last one here. Potato number five, cleaning out the goodies. Now it's time to go check that bacon again, to see how that's doing, making sure that's not burning. Looks good. Alrighty, here we're gonna to wanna to grab three tablespoons of butter and quickly melt that in the microwave. And then we can pour that evenly right over the potatoes in the bowl, just like so. And then we can move on to one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and pour that evenly on top as well. Now let's go back to the bacon that is completed on the stove top. Let's separate that from the grease in the pan and then we're gonna actually place this into a paper towel that's sitting on a paper plate just to better absorb some of that extra grease for just a couple minutes. Oh hey, I'll take that, thank you very much. And then we can go back to the potatoes and actually add two thirds of a cup of sour cream right to the potatoes. Then we can go grab that freshly degreased bacon and add that straight to the mix here as well. And we're gonna fully mix in everything together. You can just mix that by hand using a spoon, just like this, and slowly work everything in evenly. After a few short moments of stirring, it's gonna start to look like this, at which point we're ready to start stuffing the potatoes back into their skins. We'll start off with this one that got torn a little bit. We'll try to do a little bit of repair and it'll be just fine. It's certainly a pretty good idea to move around the different potatoes and slowly add to each one gradually. This helps ensure that all potatoes get appropriately refilled. Now as we watch her go around and fill all the potatoes with this goodness, this would be a great time to click on that subscribe button and give us a quick like on this. We greatly appreciate it. 
You can see all that stuffing is not going to fit back into those potato skins fully. The stuffing overflowing out from the top of the potato actually makes it quite visually appealing when the next round of baking is complete. And before this goes in the oven again, we've got one more thing to add. And that here is the paprika right over the top. All right, now we're ready for the second trip to the oven. And we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for another six to eight minutes. It says six minutes here, but they ended up going for the full eight minutes. Now they're ready to be pulled out after eight minutes. And they are looking pretty. There's just one more final touch before they're ready to serve. We'll move those over to the serving dish. We'll actually move three of them over here. And then we're gonna melt up two more tablespoons of butter and gently pour that across the top to give these their final touch. And these are ready to be served. And they are oh so good. Be sure to check out the other videos on this screen here and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and God bless.